In 2048, a huge earthquake claimed the lives of hundreds of thousands of people. Climate change has ravaged Earth. With increased seismic activity over the last hundred years, scientists had discovered that the earthquakes were only going to get worse and worse. Eventually they would get to the point of shaking the world so much that cities would crumble and oceans would boil, leaving Earth uninhabitable. Earth was fast approaching its use-by date. Officials began experimenting with a number of ideas to ensure the survival of the species. Some plans included floating cities or digging deep underground. Others included looking beyond Earth in search of planets within the Goldilocks zone, which is neither too hot nor too cold to sustain human life. Following through with this plan, two enormous ships, the Caravel and the Flores, were crafted in orbit. Their goal was to find a new planet where humanity could call home. Probes were sent ahead of the ships to find the perfect spot for them to land. The Outriders group was established to be the first people to set foot on an alien planet. They were supposed to be the best of humanity in such a situation. They were mercenaries, survivors and explorers. Their mission was to secure a perimeter and prepare for the landing of the colony ship. The probes that were sent out eventually returned promising results. A planet named Enoch appears to be able to provide an experience similar to Earth. Acceptable temperatures, breathable atmosphere, and gravitational pull perfect for human life. But before it can be confirmed as humanity's new home, the Outriders need to be sent in. So in the year 2159, the future of the human species is loaded onto two colony ships and sets forth on an 80 year journey through space towards the planet Enoch, the majority of whom would be in Cairo sleep. However, it didn't start out smoothly. The caravel was destroyed before it could leave orbit. Most of the people on board were killed. Teams have to quickly scramble together to rebuild units of Outriders, based on who was left, a large amount of whom were mercenaries and freelancers, with no ties to any sorts of authority unit. From its orbit, Enoch appears to be everything that the scientists said it would be. Although at this point, after traveling for 82 years, contact with Earth had been lost 15 years ago. So regardless of how they felt, Enoch was now their only option. Leaving the colony ship, along with the 500,000 civilians on board, the Outriders take landing pods down to the planet. Enoch is not a complete replica of Earth. There are certainly some unusual, alien qualities to it. But there are definite features that could be related, like the trees, and even some odd mammal-type creatures running around. A base camp has been set up, and trucks and military are buzzing around working on the settlement. The military is there to watch over the Outriders. Being a ragtag group of freelancers and mercenaries, the military doesn't trust them. The plan is to start thawing out civilians and sending them planet side a few thousand at a time. This would allow a slow and steady transition to test how the infrastructure handles the increased workload over time. While working on the first city, it's up to the Outriders to further explore and expand on their new home. The probe that landed on the planet was giving off some unusual signals, so the first stop for the Outriders and a unit of the military guard was to push forward and find its location. But suddenly, there is a huge blast. All vehicles and equipment stop working. It begins raining. And that's when it starts. Everything around them begins to transform. Rocks start floating. Local wildlife turn into hulking, aggressive beasts. And there is now this low-pitched rumbling sound. They make it to the probe. Though the signal was coming from there, it wasn't the thing producing it. It was simply relaying and amplifying another signal coming from somewhere else on the planet. Things continue to get worse. Trees start falling around them. The rumbling sound is quickly getting replaced by explosions and screaming. The Outriders that were able to survive the anomaly were forced to retreat back where they entered a state of chirostasis. Thirty years later, the Outriders awaken to a new Enoch. While humanity has in fact managed to colonize the planet, it is now plagued by monstrous creatures and other dangerous wildlife and plant life. 
that frequently kill the little progress that the survivors can make. The anomaly has crippled technology and created an environment where inhabitants have been forced to dig themselves into a valley. Enormous storms cover the surface of Anok. They are brutal and make most of the planet uninhabitable. The survivors of the anomaly have split off into various factions. Civil war has broken out between what's left of surviving humans, some of which have been completely corrupted by the anomaly, leaving little trace of humanity in their system. While in their chiropods, the Outriders too have evolved. They awake, finding themselves with mysterious new abilities. And then there is the strange signal that started it all. It's still active. No one has been able to get out of the valley to investigate what it is, and there was only one Outrider who made a note of the frequency before entering the 30 year sleep. It's up to this individual to investigate the signal that could be located anywhere on the planet. And through doing this, they may find a place beyond the anomaly where humanity can give this another shot and attempt to begin once again. As a cooperative multiplayer shooter, it's a fun mix between a third person shooter and an action RPG. With up to a team of three, players can run around different locations on the planet and battle with hostiles including vicious creatures and super powered bosses. Other than gunplay, players are able to utilize class based abilities and synchronize them along with your teammates, while still building towards a unique style of play. Outriders is looking like a game that will contain a vast and satisfying narrative. I'm actually looking quite forward to trying this out, and fingers crossed, being that it's a 2021 release, the difficulties that have plagued the releases of more recent games hopefully won't be showing face anytime soon. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers!